We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. All are fine. In this time of coronavirus pandemic, I would request all of you to take care of yourself, your family, and strictly follow the instruction given by the government. Stay home, stay safe. I am Dipali Baulicha, Assistant Professor in Electrical Engineering Department, Lagdirji Engineering College, Morbi, Gujarat. Today's our topic is about one content of economics that is inflation. What about economics? Economics is about making choices. We all are making many kinds of choices every day. How much should I spend on gas? Where should I go for dinner? Which is the best route to go to workplace? Which room my roommate? So taking care of washing dishes. So these are nothing but the making choices. Now some people are saying that economics is about just money. No, it is not just about the money. But economics is about waiting different choices or alternatives. Now let's move on our today's topic that is inflation. To understand the inflation, let's take one example of our household item. Now, the price of milk in 2014 is 42 rupees per liter. And the price of milk today is about 56 rupees per liter. So, there is a incremental in price that is 14 rupees as the time is passed on. Let's take another example of our household item. So, the price of soap we have paid in 2014 obviously less than the price of same soap we are paying right now. So again, there is, we can see that there is an increment in amount we have to pay as the time moves on. So that is known as inflation. Today we are going to discuss the sum content of inflation, that is definition of inflation, causes of inflation, effect of inflation, and how to measure the inflation. In economics, the word inflation refers to general rise in prices measured against the standard level of purchasing power. If the aggregate demand for goods and services exceeds aggregate supply, then prices will go on rising. According to C. Crotham, inflation is a state in which the value of money is falling and the prices are rising. According to classical writers, inflation is a situation when too much money chases too few goods. It is an imbalance between the money supply and gross domestic product. As per Keynes, inflation is an imbalance between aggregate demand and aggregate supply. Inflation is defined as sustained increase in the price level or a fall in the value of money. When the level of currency of a country exceeds the level of production, inflation occurs. Value of money depreciates with the occurrence of inflation. Consequently, inflation reflects a reduction in the purchasing power per unit of money. 
a loss of real value in the medium of exchange and unit of account within the economy. In economics, inflation is a sustained increase in the general price level of goods and services in an economic or a period of time. When the price level rises, each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. Inflation occurs due to an imbalance between demand and supply of money. Changes in production and distribution cost or increase in taxes on products. When economy experiences inflation, just for example, when the price level of goods and services rises, the value of currency reduces. This means now each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. There are some causes of inflation. Let me see that. When demand for a commodity in the market exceeds its supply, the excess demand will push up the price, which is known as demand pull inflation. When factor prices rise, cost of production rise, which can be known as cost push inflation. The rising prices are the root of inflation. Though this can be attributed to different factors in the context of causes, inflation is classified into three types. Demand pull inflation, cost pull inflation, and built inflation. Demand pull inflation. The demand pull inflation is caused by increases in aggregate demand due to increased private and government spending, etc. The demand inflation encourages economic growth since the excess demand and favorable market conditions will stimulate investments and expansion. It involves inflation rising as real gross domestic product rises and unemployment falls. This is commonly described as too much money chasing too few goods. Demand pull inflation occurs when an overall demand for goods and services in an economy increases more rapidly than an economy's production capacity. It creates a demand supply gap with higher demand and lower supply, which results in higher prices. For instance, when an oil producing nation decides to cut down an oil production, the supply decreases. It leads to higher demand, which results in price rise and contributes to We can see that in this graph that this is nothing but the product and this is nothing but the output. Causes of inflation. There are two main causes of inflation. That is demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. The demand pull inflation is inflation initiated by an increase in aggregate demand, whereas cost push or supply side inflation is inflation caused by an increase in cost. Possible causes of demand pull inflation. Excessive investment expenditures, excessive growth of consumption expenditures, low cost loans, tax cutting, augmenting sin of government expenditures. Cost to post inflation, also called supply shock inflation, is caused by a drop in aggregate supply. This may be due to natural disaster or increased prices of inputs. It is the type of inflation caused by a large increase in the cost of important goods or services where no suitable alternative is available. Cost post inflation is a result 
of the increase in the prices of production process inputs example include an increase in labor cost of manufacture a good or offer a service or increase in the cost of raw material this developments lead to higher cost for the finished product or service and contribute to inflation if there is an increase in the cost of forms then forms will pass this on to the consumers there will be a shift to the left in aggregate supply you can see in this graph this is nothing but the price level and this is aggregate output you can see that this is nothing but aggregate supply and this is aggregate demands see in this cost was inflation the initial price is p1 and output is y1 output is increased price level is decreased whereas here the price level is increased output is decreased so aggregate supply is nothing but less than first one whereas aggregate demand is decreases possible causes of post post inflation in perfect competition increased taxes rising wages and political incidents like oil crisis causes of inflation we have seen the two types of inflations demand pull inflation cost cost inflation which are the main causes of demand pull inflation black money disposable income dearness allowances rbi's monetary policies these are the main causes of demand pull inflation whereas wages taxes raw material and profit margins are some causes of cost post inflation other causes that may bring about inflation increase in public spending like government spending is an important part of total spending in any modern economy it is an important determinant of aggregate demand in less developed economies government expenditure has shown an upward trend this has created inflationary pressure on the economy now the deficit financing of government spending is nothing but government spending increases beyond what can be financed by taxation in order to be able to incur the extra expenditure the government resource to deficit financing for instance it prints money and spends it this aids to the pressure of inflation increased velocity of her circulation the total use of money that will be equal to money supply by the government multiply by velocity of circulation of money in boom phase people spend money at a faster rate the velocity of circulation of money is increases the other cause is nothing but the population growth like it increases total demand in the market the pressure of excess demand will create inflation harding excess demand is sometimes artificially created by hoarders they stockpile commodities they don't release them to the market this lead to excess demand and inflation genuine shortage if the factor of production are in short supply production will be affected supply will be less than the demand prices will rise exports if the total output of a commodity is not sufficient to meet both domestic and foreign demand then export will create inflation in the domestic economy trade unions by demanding an increase in the wage rate they increase the cost of production tax reduction the governments sometimes reduce taxes to gain popularity this leaves more money in people's hands 
This leads to inflation if there is no corresponding increase in production. Imposition of indirect taxes. Government may impose indirect taxes like excess duty, value added tax, etc. Then producers or sellers raise the product prices to keep their profit unchanged. Price rise in international market. The imported price of some commodities or factors of production may rise in the world market. The world market is also affected very much in inflation. It would lead to inflation in the domestic market. No, no economic reasons. For instance, at times of natural calamities, crops are destroyed, reducing the supply of agricultural products. Prices of these commodities tend to increase.